Welcome to another issue of A Fun Travel Facts and with our social media maven, Heather. Hi, Heather. What's going on? Hey, Ken. How are you? <laughs> Wait, what's this? <laughs> <laughs> this is my, my pupper, Nellie. She's a good guard dog. Uh -huh, just... Obviously. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so to, to, what to, to what do we owe this guest appearance today? Uh, well, today I was going to talk about um, possibly one of the world's best doggos uh, okay. called Gray, Greyfriars Bobby. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. So tell so me about a... tell me about Greyfriars Bobby. Yes, it's a it's a heartwarming tale um, mm -hmm. that comes from Edinburgh in Scotland. Right. Um, and so, okay. Okay, I'm going to put her down because she's pretty wiggly. Um, right. <laughs> okay, so in the 19th century, uh, right. there was this man. His name was John Gray, um, and he and his wife moved to Edinburgh. He was originally a gardener, but he couldn't find work in Edinburgh, so he took a position as a policeman. Okay. And so when he was on night watch, he needed some company, so he got himself a dog. It was a Sky Terrier. And so he and the dog would patrol the streets at night and, and obviously became very close. They were best friends. So I guess working a lot at night in the cold, uh, he developed tuberculosis and eventually he passed away um, and was buried. So the tale is that for 14 years, his, his dog, uh, sat by his grave and guarded it for 14 years didn't matter the weather didn't you know um yeah. every day the dog would leave and go get a meal at a, at a local uh restaurant and go back and so the locals would go every day at one o'clock and wait to see the dog come and go yeah. um you know and uh the grave keepers did everything they could to to get the dog to leave and they couldn't the dog just kept coming back so eventually they erected uh shelter for for the pupper and uh and yeah he was there for 14 years you know so now there's because i mean that's such an incredible story right they actually have a monument uh for gray friars bobby in in edinburgh and it's a fountain and you can go visit it and i've been there yeah. myself yeah loyalty has no bounds when it comes right. to an owner and his dog that's right dogs are too good for us <laughs> <laughs> sometimes they drive us crazy but i would never yeah, yeah it's there's just a wonderful wonderful bond between humans and dogs and owners right. and dogs and, and sometimes it lasts years past that's when right the owners left this world that's right great friars bobby's not the only story about a dog like that there's a very popular one out of japan as well as, that's right as, as i recall yes uh, yeah where exactly again was great fires bobby found where edinburgh in edinburgh scotland yes Ed yeah. edinburgh scotland yeah they um <clears throat> and I, I can't recall the year but but during his lifetime uh all dogs in edinburgh had to be licensed and he didn't have a license so one of the local um one of the locals got a license for for Greyfriars Bobby, so he could so he could remain there, and you can actually see his his collar and his license in one of the local museums. No need, no need. And so people, people to this day, I, I suppose people go to go to the site, and it's a it's an attraction. Yes, it is. Yeah, yeah. 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 I still have my Greyfriars Bobby keychain <laughs> from when I was there back in like. 94 maybe yeah. <laughs> yeah i don't know whether i don't know whether it's picked up on our on our mics i expect it has my my version of great fires bobby's bobby is fired off here i can some, hear him <laughs> at, at some at some per perceived threat <laughs> <laughs> probably a raccoon or a cat <laughs> well heather that's wonderful uh look forward to see what you have for us next week one more thing I think we have a blog on our Real Travel Experts uh, page. Maybe you can link it um, to the story of Gray Friars Bobby. That's right. That's right. We do. So event people want to find out more information, I'll leave that link in the description. Excellent. Super. All right. Okay. Well, once again, until next week, happy travels. Bye. Bye. <laughs> and that about wraps things up for today, folks. A special thanks to my canine stars, Nellie, Chico, and Molly. If you're looking for more information about Greyfriars Bobby, I'll leave the link to the blog post in the description. For more information about Scotland, you can always visit our website at realtravelexperts.com. 
and locate a travel expert near you, or just leave us a comment. We always respond. And as always, folks, if you enjoyed this video, a like, subscribe, and ring of the bell is always appreciated. So until next time, happy travels. <music>